guys, it's Holly. Today I'm going to be opening up this Wizarding World subscription box. Now, I love Harry Potter. I am a proud Hufflepuff. I'm wearing my Hufflepuff shirt right now. I have to say that I'm already kind of disappointed in this box because it is super tiny. This box was $40. I did pay for it myself. Um, it is by Loot Crate, which the only other box I've gotten from Loot Crate is the Sanrio one, which I'm usually really happy with, and that box is actually a lot bigger than this one, too. Like, when I got this, I was extremely disappointed in the size of it, so I'm crossing my fingers that there's some really good stuff in here to make it worth $40, because right off the bat, I'm not super happy with how big this is, but I could be just completely surprised by what's in here. I really hope so, but let's go ahead and get into this. I will put the information about this box down below in the description. And here we go. I see yellow already for Hufflepuff. The first thing is a shirt, so I am really glad that they gave us a shirt. So I am Hufflepuff, so this is the Hufflepuff shirt. It's a nice bright yellow, so it's Hufflepuff, and then it has the badger on it. It's a pretty simple shirt design. It's actually very soft, I can tell already. So that's pretty cool. Then I got some socks. These are, again, Hufflepuff socks. These are crew socks, though, which I don't really wear. Like, I don't wear big socks usually. I, for the most part, wear no-show socks, but we'll see if these fit me. And the problem is, is that I got some big chunky calves that usually these socks don't really fit. But these are really cute. So they have the Hufflepuff crest like the shirt I'm wearing and then they say Hufflepuff right here so these are really cool I just hope they fit me and then these have just the Hogwarts crest on them so that's really cool so you got two pairs of socks then we have this I don't know what it is it says Harry Potter on the front in a little baggie and it is a lightning bolt I was like what is that it is a black lightning bolt pin, and it says, Neither can live while the other survives. Ooh, that is a very dark quote with the black lightning bolt, obviously about um, Voldemort and Harry. It's kind of dark. Like, that's kind of crazy. I forget what the theme of this box is. I guess we're going to find out at the very end, but every box is themed. I just realized, too, that the inside of the box is yellow, and I don't know if that's how everyone's box is. Or if it's because I'm Hufflepuff, but I like it. There's also all the different icons for the different houses, so that's kind of cool. Then we have this, which is probably the most exciting thing. Is this a watch? It's really cool looking. Ooh, it's a necklace. This is actually really pretty. Oh my gosh. I'll have to show a close-up of it. So it's on a chain, so you can wear it around your neck. And then on the chain is a little... There's a little badger. It's so cute, actually. Does this open, I wonder? It actually has a working clock in there. It's ticking already. That is really cool. This is definitely my favorite item. Oh my gosh. There's a little piece of plastic even covering the little face. That is really cool. It feels really nice. Awesome, you wear it around your neck. I really like that, that's really cool. And then lastly is this Hufflepuff patch, like an iron-on patch, which is pretty cool. It even has like a a Quidditch, I guess this is like a Quidditch patch because there's a see uh, seeker, <laughs> a snitch, and then the different um, goals, the hoops. So that's pretty cool. I don't usually like use these for anything. I just kind of like have a bunch that aren't attached to anything. So that was everything in the box. Here is the paper that is, it looks like an envelope. Okay, so the theme of this box was Hogwarts House Pride. I will say that I'm really glad that I got this theme because I think that the next theme is Defense Against the Dark Arts, I think. Something about the dark arts and I like don't like the dark art so like I wouldn't want to get that one I would pick and choose which boxes I wanted this is everything that came in the box so we got the socks the shirt the little pocket I don't know what it's called pocket watch yeah it's a pocket watch the patch and the pin so I find it actually kind of annoying that this is saying there are six items in the box but it's counting the socks as two separate items like Oh, there's a pair of Hogwarts Crest socks, and then there's a house pair of socks. Like, that, they came together in the same packaging. I mean, yeah, there's two different designs, but is that considered two different items? I don't think so. I feel like the enamel pin is such a small item. 
that shouldn't be like counted as like a main item and uh, same with the patch like the patch and the pin are cool but those are like the little items the big ticket items were the shirt the pocket watch and the socks so there's really only like three main items and then the patch and the pin are kind of like afterthoughts I feel like I love Harry Potter and I love Hufflepuff and I do really really love the pocket watch like the pocket watch is definitely the coolest piece in here and I'm definitely gonna wear the shirt the socks I'll have to see if they even fit me because like I said my cast is thick and I don't know if they'll even fit me let me try it on right now yeah I'm a little I'm a little too chunky for these the tops of the socks are like cutting off my circulation kind of so yeah I don't I'm, I'm not gonna be able to wear these socks which is really sad so yes that's according to the sheet two items now that I can't wear the house socks and the um, Hogwarts socks so overall I would say that I don't necessarily think this box is worth it and I don't think I'm gonna be getting it again if I did get it again I don't like want to specifically choose which one I did I definitely don't want the defense against the dark arts I think there were some other themes that I didn't really oh no no I think the next one is fantastic beasts which I kind of don't care about to be completely honest I only really care about getting Hufflepuff stuff and like general Harry Potter stuff like I don't want a fantastic beasts box like I like fantastic beasts but not as much as just like regular Harry Potter let me know what you guys think I don't think I'm gonna be in this box anymore I've been watching other unboxings of this box and they're not altogether entirely positive so I kind of already like was thinking that I wasn't gonna like it and then when I got it in the mail it was like why is this so small like I even posted on my Instagram story like this is super tiny so I kind of was already like having low expectations I think I feel like I'm just rambling at this point but yes I don't know if I'm going to necessarily recommend this box I will leave that up to you I will put all the information down below in the description though if you want to check it out thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later bye